Hello everyone, welcome back to Black Tide TV. Today we're talking about getting headshots with the Gorgon LMG in Black Ops 3. This was a really, really hard challenge in my opinion. I found that the Gorgon being both a little bit too good at some things and a little bit too bad at everything else, it was really, really hard to get my headshots. You have to get 100 headshots with the Gorgon before you can unlock the five special camo challenges, which you need to get gold on this weapon. Now, I have been doing some golden weapon reviews, and I've been trying to get gold on every single weapon so I can continue that series, and I've recently been working on the Gorgon. It's one. It was one of the last seven guns I think I had to do, and I started the Gorgon finally. I kept it off for so long because I did not want to do this weapon, and I finally got to the Gorgon and I found getting headshots to be very very difficult with this weapon for a couple reasons we're going to talk about those in a second however I did uh, find a few different methods that were the most effective at actually getting this challenge done getting a hundred headshots and unlocking those five camo challenges in this video I'd like to share with the share those methods with you and uh, some of them are a little bit outlandish some of them might seem a little bit crazy but trust me they work this gameplay is going to be a very very poor Poor gameplay I'm not gonna do that great I think I end up like 37 and 27 or something which to me is an amazing score with the Gorgon I'm not good with the Gorgon and I I'm just not a fan of the gun however the score did end up being half decent in my opinion uh, to you guys you might not think that that's that that is that great however I did end up between the Gorgon and the HVK my secondary weapon I did end up getting 15 headshots in this game which is a considerable amount of headshots. That's a lot of that's a lot of headshots, uh, especially because most of them came from the Gorgon, and I did advance my way through the Gorgon's camos quite a bit in this video. So the gameplay might not be up to your standards, but I do get a lot of headshots, and that's what counts. That's what we're looking at in this video. So why is it so hard to get headshots with the Gorgon in this game? The Gorgon is simultaneously one of the best and worst guns in the game. Regardless of which side you're on, which side of the fence, is it good, is it bad, regardless of what you think about the Gorgon, both it being good and bad is bad for getting headshots. How, do, how is that possible? Well, the Gorgon is amazing at shots to kill. It only takes two shots to kill across the map with this gun. This is an absolute beast of a weapon. This is on par with the Dracon and the Shiva when you have long barrel on it. This is a really powerful weapon. This is insanely powerful. In fact, a lot of people thought it was an overpowered weapon when it first came out. So, two shots to kill. That's not good for business when you're trying to get headshots because... You most of the time you have more shots to kill most guns in this game are three or four shots to kill So you have that extra time you start you damage them you hit them a couple times And then you aim up for the head you have those extra couple seconds to get to the headshot Whereas with a two-shot kill you basically have to be aiming for the head right away or you're not going to get a headshot So that can be kind of a hindrance more than a help also this weapon basically sucks at everything else so fire rates crap the handling is crap the aim down sights time is crap the movement speed is crap this is just it's good at to it's good at shots to kill the rest of this weapon is just like the worst gun in the entire game and i'm just not a fan of the way that you need to use this weapon so i'm probably going to be trash talking it a little bit in this episode however we will be actually getting into those methods the special methods that i've come up with right about now so the methods that i've come up with i've come up with four methods the first two might seem ridiculously outlandish to you because of one thing i am going to be uh recommending the suppressor attachment and i know don't freak out guys just just bear with me the suppressor attachment will actually make getting headshots with this gun a whole lot easier for you in two different ways. So, uh, number one is the suppressor will effectively destroy your two-shot kill range. Suppressors on LMGs in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 reduce the range of LMG of the of the two-shot kill on this LMG by 75%. So basically, the only time you're going to get a two-shot kill now is if you're shooting them. If they're like within knife range, you might get a two-shot kill. The rest of your kills are going to be three-shot kills. Now, you're th you're probably thinking, how is this helping me? I'm going to be taking three shots to kill with a ridiculously uh, slow firing and crappy handling weapon. How is a suppressor going to help me with this weapon? 
Well, the first method is you're going to want to uh, use that suppressor for the express use of actually making it a three shot kill. Like I said before, a two shot kill can be bad for business when you're trying to get headshots. Two shot kill, you don't have that time to get the extra shot on your enemy. Whereas when you have a three shot kill, you do have that extra little space of time to get another shot on your enemy. If you're not as good at aiming, if you're not as good at accuracy, I'd highly recommend you use a suppressor and still at long ranges, try to engage your enemies and get three shots on them to kill them. Now, one other thing that I should notice uh, or you should be uh, aware of is that two shot kills are still possible with headshots at most ranges, at extremely long ranges where the two shot kill without a suppressor would still be effective. You're not gonna be getting a two shot headshot. However, even at like medium, medium long range, you're gonna be able to get a two shot headshot. So if your accuracy still is on par, you can get an easy two shot kill with the suppressor equipped. Now the second method I have for you also includes a suppressor and that is to play the stealth game. Use overkill like I am in this video with a powerful secondary weapon which I'm going to explain the weapon I'm using in this video for in a moment but use a use a powerful secondary weapon and equip a suppressor on it as well. Now because the Gorgon isn't effective at running around the map and using it to uh, on an assault kind of in an assault kind of situation the Gorgon is a purely defensive weapon you're going to want to run overkill or if you're okay with like the mr6 or something like that for an assault weapon you can use that instead saving you that point on the overkill wild card however i'd highly recommend you use either an assault rifle or an smg in your secondary a shotgun works as well and use your secondary weapon to get into the enemy spawn now once you're in the enemy spawn whip out the gorgon with the suppressor on it keeping you off the radar and shoot enemies in the back Playing the stealth game is one of the highest, uh, my highest recommendations for this weapon and for any weapons when you're trying to get headshots. And it will just make headshots a thousand times easier with this weapon. You can take your time, you can aim at people's heads, you can look for people that are AFK. It just makes it a lot easier if you're playing the stealth game with this weapon. So, but like I said, remember, this is a defense only weapon. You cannot use this weapon as an assault weapon or you're going to have a really rough time. If you do know how to use this weapon as an assault weapon, let me know how you do it in the comment section down below because I have no idea how to do that because I'm just not good at assault with this weapon. And I'm sure that not a lot of people are because it's just so slow fire. Uh, it's just crappy handling and it's just a really bad weapon for assault. However, if you're running a secondary weapon, a good assault rifle or SMG in your secondary, you're going to have a much easier time at getting into the enemy flank. Now, I'm using the HVK in this video simply because it's one of the other weapons that I need to get done. If I was done every other weapon in the game, I would not be using the HVK at all. I would be using a powerful SMG like the VMP, the Vesper, or maybe even the Pharaoh. I would not be using the HVK. The HVK is not is not a good weapon uh, in, in general and it's not really a great weapon to put a suppressor on so that was a poor choice on my part however it's one of the only weapons I need to get done that I have left to get done so that's why I'm using the HVK don't use the HVK don't learn from me uh, in that aspect but do use an assault rifle or SMG a powerful one that you're comfortable with to get into the enemy spawn before you whip out that Gorgon and shoot people in the back now my last two are a little bit weird um, the first one especially the second one makes a little bit more sense but method number three Method number three, you're going to want to use the Gorgon as, an, as a sniper rifle. Stop thinking about it that it's an LMG. Stop thinking you have to get into the middle of the map and defend a, an area or try to get into uh, trying to get into LMG mode with this weapon. Pretend it's not an LMG for a second. Just use it as a sniper rifle. Camp at the back of the map. Pretend you're like an old man sniper, uh, like a hard scoping. You're, you don't want a quick scope with this weapon, let me tell you. But pretend you're just like the old man kind of hard scoping sniper. Camp at the back of the map. Use an optic and just sit there and aim down the sights and use this thing as a sniper rifle, by which I mean fire it one shot at a time. Don't hold down the trigger and let the kick do its thing. Literally, pull the trigger. It's such a slow fire rate that you can pull the trigger manually and you can shoot it one bullet at a time. When you're shooting a, a weapon one bullet at a time, your emphasis in your brain instantly goes to accuracy. You're not thinking, I gotta spam this guy, I gotta pull down the trigger and let my gun run wild to try to kill people. You can, when you start firing it one shot at a time, your brain is just instantly gonna be like, hey, 
I got to be taking my time here. I got to be accurate or else I'm not going to get this kill. Your brain will just do that by itself. Let your brain do that and aim. Just let your brain do it. Shoot one shot at a time and your brain will just instantly just start aiming for the head and it will make your life a lot easier. Not to mention that shooting it one shot at a time will just make the gun more accurate anyways. In fact, I thought this weapon was going to be nerfed at, be at the beginning when all the pros were kind of complaining about this weapon that it was too powerful. I thought that they were going to nerf this weapon and actually make it a semi-automatic weapon, but they have not. However, I usually just shoot it as a semi-automatic weapon anyways. So that's a really great tactic on trying to get your headshots as well. My final tactic is one that you can't really do until you've used this weapon enough. Once you've used this weapon enough, you will rank it up and you will unlock rapid fire. If you have rapid fire unlocked on this weapon and you are not using it, you are one crazy son of a bitch because this is just a terrible, terrible weapon and rapid fire makes it a thousand times better. It still does not make it competitive with a lot of other weapons in this game. However, rapid fire is just like God's gift to the Gorgon. You want to be using rapid fire. You can still single shot, do that single shot stuff. You can still use a suppressor, but rapid fire is going to make it just instantly better at all in all circumstances there's no there's no case where you should not be using rapid fire on this weapon in fact i would not ever prestige this weapon you can prestige weapons in black ops 3 and there are some weapons that i just highly recommend that you prestige and keep going through them because there's a lot there's a lot of fun just going through certain weapons the gorgon is not one of these weapons you should not be prestiging this weapon because rapid fire unlocks at like level 15 or something on this gun. Anyways, it's like it's one of the last levels of this gun and it's just like ridiculously hard to rank this gun back up. I would not I would not recommend that you want to prestige this weapon unless you're going for full weapon prestige on every weapon in the game. I would never ever 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 prestige this weapon. I would just get it to max rank and never take rapid fire off it again. It's just not a weapon worth using without rapid fire. And uh, it's rapid fire is just going to make your life a million times easier. So I highly recommend that. Those are my four methods for using the Gorgon to get headshots easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're always doing fun Black Ops 3 problematic camos videos like this where we try and figure out some methods on how to get camos, certain camos on certain guns easier. Like I said, I am doing golden weapon reviews. Maybe I didn't say that yet, uh, but I am doing golden weapon reviews right now where I'm getting gold on every single weapon and we're doing a full weapon review, just a casual review where I sit down, I discuss the weapon, we talk about how the weapon is best used, what attachments you should be using, what specialists you, sh you should be using. We're always doing crazy stuff like that. We're getting into some more fan submitted first look camos. If you don't know, first look camos is where we actually take some of the black market camos in this, vid in this game and we show them off in case people haven't seen them and a lot of fans have been sending in their first look camos which i'm really happy about and you guys can send in your first look camos if you want as well all of my contact information is in the description box below speaking of the description box below you should definitely check out the 300 subscriber giveaway which is down in that description box we are doing a 300 subscriber giveaway i know i'm at like 450 plus subscribers now however I am still doing the 300 subscriber giveaway. It has been extended because I'm still waiting on a piece of merchandise and that giveaway will end on February 1st. So make sure you're entering in that giveaway. You can win some CJ grips and some signed merchandise, some signed t-shirts. That's going to be really, really cool. And I hope that you guys are uh, signing up for that. You got to be following me on Twitter and subscribed on the YouTube channel to be watching that or to be, to be able to win. You must live in the United States or Canada just because shipping costs are just absolutely outrageous right now i'm sorry to my fans in the uk and in australia and all of that but maybe sometime in the future maybe if the canadian dollar goes back up we can start shipping out again and uh get some get some more better giveaways happening i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like i said don't forget to hit that like button make sure you're following me on twitch i am doing some live streams over there every once in a while and um and we don't have a lot of followers over on Twitch. It's the same It's the same title as the YouTube channel, Black Tide TV. Make sure you're following me on Twitch. We've only got like four followers over there. And I do do Twitch live streams just to kind of randomly at some, at some points. I can't really make a schedule for my live streaming. However, I am... Um, 
I am just jumping on live streaming like at random times whenever. Uh, usually it's uh, late at night in the Eastern time zone. However, um, I will try to get some more scheduled live streams out and try to uh, actually make a schedule so that you guys can tune in at the right time and you guys can hang out with me on the live streams. We are still going for that for that dark matter camo, and I'm really excited uh, trying to get trying to get towards that. We only have like six more guns now, and then we'll just be cranking out the golden weapon reviews like one a day for the next month. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. I hope you enjoyed this extended outro and this Gorgon then this Gorgon headshot problematic camos video. Thanks a lot for watching once once again guys and I'll see you all on the next video. The mission is a bust. Bring it next time. Why didn't you join up for this? Get your shit together. Get back to boot camp.